Well, we're going to make corn pudding, and that is the recipe. I'll write it in the description box and how to put it together. It's fairly simple, fairly rich. If you ate it every day, you'd definitely gain weight. I've showed people how to break eggs. Oh, that's a double yoker. All you do is take a sharp side of a regular old dinner knife, just pop it right in the middle with a good clean. You don't want to smash it all the way through to your fingers. You just want to break the shell. And it's No runs, no hits, no errors. And uh, there is one little teeny piece of shell in there which I'll get out. The basic recipe calls for one can of corn. I'm doubling the recipe because it goes really fast. And so it's two cans of corn. Uh, cream style sweet corn. There you go. If you use the salt free, I hate to break it to you, but it's not edible. If you use a salt free, I don't think a hungry dog would eat it. And you need a couple pans. It's a, this is a whole cup of sugar because I'm doubling the recipe. This is a two, three tablespoons and a third of a cup less a teaspoon is six tablespoons. Four eggs, one stick of butter. Uh, it calls for a quarter of a pound and a half stick and we're doubling it so it's a whole stick and you have to melt that first. And all you do is you put the sugar and flour in a pan and then you dump these two cans of corn in it and mix it up and since I can't find my tripod be back in a minute since the recipe goes together pretty good we're going to set the range and it's 350 degrees and you want to start it and it's got to cook for an hour so that's well I can cancel that until I put it in there. And that's the corn flour and sugar. Now I'm going to take a whisk and mix it up. You just want to use a whisk when you beat those four eggs up. You don't want to use an electric mixer because it changes the structure and texture of the eggs when you do that. And to that we'll add the one cup of milk since it's a double recipe. And we will stir this up with the whisk. After the milk has been incorporated with the eggs, you pour it into the corn and you stir it up with the whisk. And then you put the butter in the corn and you stir it up. And then you put it in the baking dish. After that's mixed, you add the butter and stir it up again. After the butter and everything is incorporated all together with everything else and it's all stirred up, you uh, take some spray and spray your your glass pan and you don't really have to worry about this sticking it's enough butter and all and it won't stick it does crust and stick around the edge and the butter just helps it loosen and when you spoon it out you can best barely touch it and it'll all come out this is a 8 by 11 and a 14 or something uh, glass cookware some of them call 9 by 13 8 by 15s, 18, 8 by 14.7s, who, who cares? If, and you spray it and make sure you clean the edges off and then you won't get it all baked on dirty up here and have to scour them. And as soon as it goes up 23 more degrees, we'll put it in there for an hour. Just hit 350, put it in the middle shelf on the top. It is a little bit loose. You got to watch when you, you got to carry it really flat or it will spill out the edges. And all you have to do is hit timer and hit and start that. And my bride called and said she's on the way home. It takes her 30, 35 minutes. I've already warned her her dinner will not be ready, so she promised not to be mad. Well, the corn's done. And that's the finished product. You said one the other day on the video. And we're having chicken tenders again. These aren't tenders, they're really uh, wing sections. Well, it tastes good. I'm sure it's high in calories and uh, it won't last long. <laughs> and that's what the dish looks like with two healthy portions out of it. You can't see the butter floating around in it, so... I'm sure it's high in calories. And that's our chicken drumlets.